in the last video, we saw that if we were to take the sum from i equals zero to n of i squared, that this could be equal to, and we did it in two videos, it was a little bit hairy, but we powered through. This is equal to one third n to the third power, let me write it a little bit cleaner than that, n to the third power plus one half n squared plus one sixth one sixth n. And that is absolutely true. But you might have seen a different formula for this. It doesn't look like that. And so what I want to do is now manipulate this a little bit algebraically to come up with another formula that's typically seen for this sum. So the first thing that we might realize is, well, let's, what's, what happens if we factor out a 1 sixth n? So this is going to be equal to, let's factor out this right over here. So that would be equal to 1 sixth n times so let's see, 1 third divided by 1 sixth, that's the same thing as 1 third times 6. So that's going to be equal to, so this right over here is going to be equal to 2n squared. And you can verify it. 1 sixth times 2 is 2 sixths, or 1 third. n times n squared is n to the third power. Now, 1 half divided by 1 sixth is the same thing as 1 half times 6, which is 3. So this term right over here is going to be plus 3, 3 times three times n, and then finally you have this term right over here, which is just going to be equal to one. And now we're faced, now we're faced with factoring this thing right over here. Now you could do this, well let's let's do this by let's let's factor by grouping this. And remember when you factor it by grouping, you want to essentially break you want to break this into two numbers where the product of those two numbers the product of those two numbers is equal to the product of two times one. And the obvious thing is, well, two times one is two. If I break this into two and one, if I break this three into two and one, well, two times one is definitely two times one. So let me rewrite this. I'm just factoring by grouping here, nothing super fancy. So if I rewrite this as two n squared, two n squared plus, plus n, plus 2n plus 1 plus 1. So this is all the stuff in this parentheses right over here. Well, this part right over here, we can factor out an n. So this is going to be equal, let me just write the 1 sixth n here so you know what I'm doing. 1 sixth n. So if we factor out an n right over here, we would have n times 2n, n times 2n plus 1. 2n plus 1 plus 1. So that's what's in green right over here. That's this part right over here. And then what I have, what I have here, I could write this as plus 1 times 2n plus 1. 1 times, let me do that same color. So 1 times 2n, 2n plus 1, plus 1. And so now you can factor out a 2n plus 1, and this thing simplifies to 1 sixth n times 2n plus 1. I'm just factoring out a 2n plus 1. I'm just factoring out a 2n plus 1, and then you're going to have n plus, if you, take a, if you factor out a 2n plus 1 out of each of these terms, you're going to have just an n and a 1. So 1 sixth times n times 2n plus 1, 2n plus 1 times n plus 1, times n, n plus 1. And if this was a little bit confusing what I did here, I encourage you to review the videos on factoring by grouping. Times n plus 1. And another way to re we could rewrite this, we could write this whole thing as being equal to, and maybe I'll write in this green color that we started off with. This is the same thing as, this is the same thing, and I'll write it, well we could, I could write it as n, times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1, all of that, all of that over 6. So this expression is equivalent to this expression, and it's equivalent to this value right over here. So whichever one you find to be a little bit easier to think about.